Something is terribly wrong in Verdansk, and I mean something is way wrong. This is not a drill. I don't mean to alarm anyone or scare anyone to death, but slugs are now part of the ground loot in Warzone. The same slugs that can take anywhere from 8 to 4 shots to kill no matter the distance are now available on the ground to be picked up by some poor soul who has no idea the kind of punishment and torture they are about to endure. This happened in the last update, the Season 4 update, and I'm honestly sad about it. But now wait a minute, maybe something changed. A lot of people on my channel have been telling me that maybe slugs were buffed and maybe now they're actually usable. Why else would they add these things into the loot pool? So I decided to check it out and, well, see for yourself. So unfortunately, no. Slugs have been untouched since the last update, at least in terms of damage, which is kind of a big deal. So if you're going around for Verdansk and you want to have a cool and fun time playing with your friends in Warzone, if you happen to come across a shotgun on the ground, double check the ammunition type, and if it says it has slugs on it, do not pick it up. Even if you have a pistol, just ignore it and walk away. This brings up a good talking point for me though that I wanted to address in a video. I like to come on YouTube and complain about slugs a lot, and rightfully so as someone who for some reason attempts to make them work more often than they probably should. But instead of just coming on here to complain about it some more, I wanted to offer a solution to the problem. So I'm going to be talking about my proposed fixes or just general ideas of how to make slugs a bit more viable and fun to use. I know that slugs are often thought of as a novelty, but they don't have to be. If you take into account guns like the KSG from Black Ops 2, you'll realize that these types of weapons can actually be pretty amazing with their damage potential and output, so long as you have the aim for it. Now trust me, the KSG was my most used weapon in Black Ops 2, and it was absolutely nasty. It was difficult to use, but fun and very rewarding to nail and get right. You get a great balance of being high risk and high reward, and that is exactly what slugs should be. Difficult to master, but that reward should be worth the effort and time. And currently, the slugs are difficult to master, but there really is little to no reward, and certainly not when compared to a traditional buckshot shotgun. For this video, I'm going to break down my ideas for balancing slugs in multiplayer as well as in Warzone, because if you thought they were bad in multiplayer, well you don't even want to know how bad they are in Warzone. But before we can offer solutions to balancing slugs though, let's briefly go over how slugs work just to make sure we're all on the same page. I've mentioned this stuff quite a bit in the past, so I'm sorry if it feels like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I think it's a good idea for this specific video. I also have a shotgun slug guide for multiplayer where I go way more in depth, so I encourage you to check that out as well. So for slugs, you do different amounts of damage depending on where you hit and how far you are, of course. That's just how it works. The damage areas are demonstrated here by Yeet Gore. For about 4 meters away from someone, you can land one shot kill, stomach, and up. It's not exactly 4 meters, and it varies at maybe a meter or so depending on the shotgun, but generally it's around 4 meters. Past this and around up to 10 meters or so, again with slight variations, they can kill in one shot if you hit chest or up. Then past that and up to 30 meters or so, it will only kill if it's upper chest or head. Take into account the velocity, the bullet drop, and the random spread, it makes this much easier said than done, and these are the problems that come when using slugs. There are so many factors involved when trying to hit a target, especially a moving target or someone who has their side towards you, that hitting targets is so incredibly difficult and feels inconsistent oftentimes, and even when you hit the target, it's not always going to get the job done. So let's talk solutions. There's lots of ways we can go about this, but I want to offer at least one that will make slugs viable and actually pretty dangerous to play against. One of the more obvious approaches is to change and increase the damage done overall by slugs and tweak the damage ranges a small bit. 
Assuming you keep the same damage areas of the body, I would say that stomach and up should always be a one-shot kill up to at least that first damage drop-off range. So normally, you get stomach one-shot kills up to about 4 meters with them all, so I would opt to say increase this range to at least that 10-15 to 15 meter one-shot kill range. This would make it much more consistent in that normal shotgun range, but it shouldn't stop there. Alongside increasing this damage for the drop-off distance and for the stomach area, make it to where in order to get a one-shot kill past that, you only have to hit chest and up. So normally you have to hit upper chest and head after that 10-15 to 15 meter range, which can be really difficult, so make it to where it's just chest shots at least. As for the limb damage, I think the initial 4 meter distance should enable you to kill in one shot even if you hit the legs. In this range, make it a one shot kill no matter what. This will help with consistency a bit more as well, and considering how large slugs are, I think it's fair to have that slugs kill in one shot so close even if they hit the legs. But honestly, I could live with them still being a two shot kill to the legs, it's not really the important thing here. It's mainly about the damage for torso and up. But with this solution, stomach shots have more viability in closer distances, and with a well-placed shot outside of that, you are still rewarded for hitting chest, and not just the upper chest and head. If I were to lay it out for you, here's how it looks. Up close in that 4 meter range, one shot kills everywhere, or at least torso and up. Past that and up to 10 to 15 meters, it is a one shot kill stomach and up. And then past that up to about 40 meters, it will always enable you to get one shot kills with just chest and higher. Past that range, headshots will be the only way to get a one-shot kill. Of course, as much as I'd like to make it where slugs are always a one-shot kill anywhere on the body and that goes up to like 30 meters or something, I'm trying to find a good middle ground to reward good players and also keep the slugs from being too strong and overbearing. With the semi-auto shotguns, the tuning would be a bit different, and I would say that if you're going to apply these same ranges, make it deal way less damage overall so it takes more shots to kill. That's the trade-off. But usually when I talk about slugs, it's more about using slugs on the 680 and the R90 and the Rogue. So that's one part of my proposed solution, increasing the damage overall and tweaking the damage ranges a small bit. So before we go into the video any further, I just want to give you guys a heads up that there is going to be an ad break right around here. And back to the video. So another huge problem besides damage is just how they function in-game. They have spread, a steep bullet drop, and such a low bullet velocity. So if we made the changes above, I would say it's better, but it's still not enough. However, if they were that strong, I could really live with all the other shortcomings, but personally, I don't think we should stop there. I say, let's greatly reduce the spread on the slugs, or even better, let's just remove the spread entirely. Right now, the choke is mandatory, and so is equipping the biggest barrel you can. These two factors can really help reduce the spread of slugs, but it's currently making every other barrel a bit more useless to use, and you can't really change up how you play with them. Having slugs go in random places when you shoot is kind of strange. I can kind of understand it in a way, but it just doesn't translate well in-game in my opinion. Slugs having spread should be done away with. Instead of having bigger barrels and the choke reduce spread, make it to where they increase the damage ranges. Instead of a 4 meter one shot kill everywhere on the body, the biggest barrel and the choke increase it to 5 or 6 meters. Something like that. If I want to run slugs with a suppressor, I should be able to do it without having to worry that my shot isn't going to fly off and land one foot away from someone's head while I was aiming at them from 20 meters away. Now, because we don't want to make using the biggest barrel always the go-to option, have the shorter barrel still usable with no spread, but they lose a lot of their damage range and potential. Say you run the shortest barrel on the 680. You get an awesome aim down sights boost and a movement speed boost, but you can no longer get the range you normally can with the longer barrels. I think this would be an awesome way to encourage different weapon builds with slugs on. But we're not quite done. So let's say we increase the damage in the ranges and reduce or remove the spread. What now? Well let's take it one step further, and let's increase that 30 meter zero distance to around 40 meters or so. Since slugs are currently zeroed in at 30 meters, you have to aim slightly higher than your target past that, and up to 30, you have to aim slightly lower than where your sight is. Let's bump this range up and have it where it's going to travel much straighter until about that 40 meter range. And while we're at it, let's bump up that velocity or how fast that slug can travel. Right now, it's painfully slow and you can really notice it if you just simply shoot into the sky. It looks like a small meteorite and it just goes so slow compared to everything else in the game. This will not only help land your shots at range better, but it's going to make shots that are normally really difficult because of the behavior of slugs a lot easier because you don't have to lead a target who's only 20 meters away. So this is probably a lot to take in, but my slug solution basically calls for four things. Increase the damage in ranges, remove or reduce the spread, increase that zero distance, 
and increase the bullet velocity. If we want to make slugs viable, this is definitely all going to help. Would it be too strong? Maybe, but we'd have to test it out and see. You're still going to have to lead targets really far and still maintain your accuracy, but slugs will have much more reward and power overall, and it would make them much more in line with what we're used to with other CODs. One big concern I think a lot of people have is that making slugs viable would kind of ruin the marksman rifle's effectiveness as a class, and I disagree with that for a few reasons. One, because it's not like this would remove the effectiveness of them. It would really just give everyone else a few more marksman rifles to use if you think about it, and it doesn't really deter from using them. Also, slugs are going to have a drop-off still, it's just going to be 40 meters instead of 30 meters. Marksman rifles can excel at medium and longer ranges, and with my proposed slug solution, marksman rifles would still be much easier to use at range and much better too, considering they don't drop off so quickly. Not to mention, they would still have a faster bullet velocity. I would just want the slugs to be faster than they currently are, but not quite as fast as normal rounds on say like a marksman rifle. So I don't see slugs overtaking marksman rifles and where they should perform, but I understand the worry. Also, the damage changes don't really apply to the 725. Keep that where it is, it's in a good spot, but include the changes to velocity and the 40 meter zero distance. And again, the tuning for something like the Origin 12 would be a bit different damage wise. So that way we don't have an insanely overpowered fast firing marksman rifle. Now for Warzone, I would say apply these same changes and increase that damage and range and all that. Since Warzone features 250 health, I think having slugs be a two shot kill with headshots against a fully armored player would be appropriate. For body shots, three shots to stomach and up should be enough to down someone, at least with the 680. For legs, maybe four to five, but certainly not eight. They need to function similarly to the Mark II Carbon in my opinion, but of course they won't be as effective for the bullet drop in the range and velocity. And again, for the spammy shotguns, tweak these damages down a little bit. For example, have the Origin 12 down in five shots stomach and up, and have it down a fully armored player in three headshots instead. They don't have to be these exact numbers, but I just think currently having four headshots to kill someone with the slugs is a bit much. And currently, the only real difference between the shotguns when using slugs in Warzone is just the fire rate. They all seem to function the same in terms of damage. They're just reskins of each other with different fire rates, so I don't know. It's just kind of strange, and it kind of shows that Infinity Ward, I don't think, really put a lot of detail into the slug class, which I understand because they're a novelty, but again, they don't have to be. Now, there are lots of ways to go with tuning slugs. There are just so many possibilities that I just wanted to touch on a best case sort of scenario where I think slugs should be. At this point, I'd just be happy with any tuning to slugs to help viability with them. It's just such a shame to have something so cool and unique really diminish the effectiveness of a gun and basically make it 10 times worse than it would otherwise be with normal buckshot. So let's talk. What do you guys think should be done to slugs? How would you change them up? Would you keep everything the way it is but decrease spread? Would you just change the damage and keep it as is? There are so many possible ways to go about this and the worst thing we could do, I think, is to just leave it as is. So let's have a discussion and see where we can go from here. I understand my tuning would definitely not be for everybody and honestly, I can already hear people shouting at me and calling me a noob for my solution, but hey, it is what it is. So let me know what you guys think. But just remember, if you see slugs on the ground in Warzone, avoid them, and tell your friends because they really don't need to go through that. And that's just about it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe because I love doing content like this and we're so close to 10,000 subs and I'm really proud of how far we've come together as a channel, so kudos to you guys. And if you can, share this video, tag some developers, spread the word on Reddit. We have to do what we can if we want to make a difference with slugs. But with all that being said and out of the way, I want to wish you all a happy day slash night, and I will see you in the next video.